What's up internet, Don here from DonDoes30.com bringing you a Python tutorial. Finally after several weeks, or actually I think the last Python tutorial was about a month or two ago, I'm back in action uh, bringing some more information about Python. And um, you know, just to let you know, it's been a while, uh, last couple weeks I've been pretty sick with uh, this bad upper respiratory cough, um, like you guys need to know that. Just been really hard to breathe and, and even speak, so I didn't want to do a tutorial and cough my ass off in your ears the entire time. Um, also, you know, there's uh, some malware out there and, uh, you know, just kind of paying close attention to that. I didn't launch it, if anybody's wondering. That was not me, but um, let's go ahead and get into this Python tutorial. If you've watched the other ones by now, which I'm hoping you have, um, you know that first we're just going to create a file like normal. And um, we're going to be going over arrays or lists, I guess as we call them in Python. Um, and first of all, if, if we go back to the beginning of, uh, of variables, you know that we could set a variable to anything, right? So the customer could be a customer name, or it could be equal to a number, or it could be equal even to another, um, another variable. And then when I print this, you know, you guys know what's going to happen, right? Shouldn't be a surprise by now. All right, it just prints my name. Now, what if you have, in most cases, I, I hope if you're in business or something, most people have more than one customer. So you could do it like this, customer equals Don, customer one equals Joe, customer two equals Jim, something like that. And then we'll, uh, customer one, customer two, go ahead and print out all these guys, right? And that's, uh, you know, that's one way of doing it, but what if you have thousands or tens of thousands or you know, millions of customers? You certainly want to, don't want to do it like that. Well, with arrays, you could actually set multi, um, multi variables in one, or excuse me, multi uh, values in one variable. I know, I just blew your mind, right? So if we just name this customers and we put Don, and that's a open bracket, by the way. And uh, who else do we have? Jim, John, and we'll say Bob, and um, I don't know, Sue, whatever. And we'll do a close, bra uh, close bracket. And now I'm gonna print this, right? So now we have multiple values in one variable. We'll see what that looks like. All right, so here we go. This is everybody. Don, Jim, John, Bob, Sue. Awesome. Now, how is this practical, right? The, this is just making a list. But if you wanted to pull up just one particular customer, well, uh, I'll show you how to do that as well. Now, it's very important to know in all programming languages, when you set up an array, the first guy is not number one. He is number zero. So maybe I should have put my name here because that would make me number one. So we've got zero, one, two, three, four. So for example, if I just want to pull up the value in position zero, I would put the variable name of customers and I would specify value uh, or the position, I mean, as zero. Let's see what that looks like. All right, so it just pulls up my name. Now. What if we did number two? This, this should come up as zero, one, two, which should come up as John. And it does, awesome. So we're getting somewhere. Now there's a lot of things that you could do with this. Now, if you're looking for a certain range of customers, um, you, let's say you wanna do number one and two and three, and you wanna leave Don and Sue out of the mix, because Don and Sue tend to sleep together when they're together. So we would do it this way. We would say customers, we'd start with one, which would be Jim, okay? Two, three, so we just want these three. Now when we're specifying a range, we have to include where we want it to stop. So it's actually gonna stop before number four. And uh, the only thing I separate these with are a colon. That's right. So now we have Jim, John, and Bob popping up because we specified between the array. All right. Um, another thing that you could do is you could do from the beginning of a list and stop at a certain point. 
Um, to do that, we would just leave the first one blank and we would stop at the one before the fourth one. See what that looks like. All right, so it's got Don, Jim, John, and Bob. And um, what else could we do? We could start with number one and go until the end. So if there were more here, it would uh, start with Jim and go all the way to the end of the array. All right, Jim, John, Bob, and Sue. And if you want, check this out, if you want to replace somebody, so let's go ahead and print all the customers again. And let's say we want to replace, hmm, Bob, I don't like your name. So we got zero, one, two, three. We want to replace three with Robert. That seems more sophisticated, right? And then we'll print it again just to show you that the change took place. There, let me clear out the screen. We'll do that again. All right, so we have the initial array or the initial list, and we replace the third position with Robert. So now it's Robert. All right. Now this is, again, an introduction. Um, when I get to the loops portion of our tutorials later on, I'll show you how to loop through an array, um, especially using a range between different things um, and listing them one at a time, but that's getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. I want to blow your minds right out of your skulls. Now, I already said that this could be a combination of uh, names. This is These are strings, obviously, um, but it could be numbers. So if you want to have a list or an array of numbers, you could do so as well. Um, what I'm going to do, let's create a different array. Let's say new array equals one, two, three, four, five. And this is gonna blow your mind. You could have an array of arrays, right? Uh, let's say array two, whoops, two equals six, seven, eight, nine, zero. And we'll put it right here. Now again, this could be mixed in. So we're gonna print the customers again, and I'm gonna get rid of replacing Robert, and I'll show you what this one looks like. All right, so we have an array in the first position, an array in the second position, and then three strings with names. It's crazy, so an array inside an array. It's kind of like a turducken without the deliciousness. Now, if you want to specify where to go, this again is zero, one, two, three, four. So let's print out just that first position, the zero. All right. Now it prints out the first position, which was the one through five array. Now what if you want to print out one value of the array within the array? Well, then we'd have to specify also not only the position of the array, but the position of the value inside the array. I know, it's getting confusing. Minds are blowing, I could hear it. So we would do customers, which is your overall list or an array, and we'd specify zero, which would be this, and then we'd specify number two, which would be zero, one, two. So we should get the number three coming up. And we do. Gosh, it's crazy, right? And again, everything I showed you before about, um, you know, listing, let's say, uh, let's do this. Let me see if this will work. So I'm not only going to do array these two, right, because this is going to stop before this. I also just want to do the first few numbers. So let's see if this works. Holy shit, my mind is almost blown. It looks like it actually just went ahead, did the first two, but not the second two. Can we do it? Let's see. Let me pull the second value out of each. Oh man, now we're getting a lot of shit. So anyway, I thought that would work. I guess the list index is out of range. Um, yeah. So let's uh, let's check it out again. 
Let's do uh, just one, which would be this array. And then the second, zero, one, two, which would be the number eight. Number eight. So anyway, so for what I was trying to do before, we'd have to set up a, um, a loop, which we will get into later. And maybe I'm doing it wrong. It's been a while since I've worked with arrays inside of arrays. It just uh, usually doesn't get that complicated. But I wanted to show you guys that it is possible. And um, these are extremely, extremely helpful. Uh, again, instead of listing a different variable for each one of these, you could just store all the values in one variable. Very, very awesome. Very cool and um, a good tool to have, especially when you're writing different programs. And again, as we're going through and getting more involved in these Python tutorials, I'll, uh, I'll show you some cool things on, on the way arrays are used, especially if, uh, if you're playing games and stuff. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Hope this helps. Keep practicing with Python and I'll have more tutorials coming up soon.